Preste's name are you? Hey, my Why I write it down every day. Keep it in my pocket. I got stuck on the second floor. Yeah. I swear those girls are possessed by demons. I should have been made a corporal by now. You never. What's this? Ah, you must be the new recruits we were expecting. You're late. The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. Did you need something? Thank the Maker. What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> is there some problem? So the Assistant Quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. The Quartermaster got chewed out by Tern Logan, and then he chewed out the Assistant. And now, to get back at us for landing him in trouble, the assistant quartermaster won't give us our blades. And you can't pass inspection without a regulation sword. He's down the hall in the armory. Make her help us. What's this? You two blighted fools make a new friend? What, so that makes it better? I should just forget they cost me a promotion because they didn't mean it. Well, while we're at it, why don't we just forgive the Darkspawn for killing the King? I'm sure they didn't know it would upset us. It's true, we could be eaten by Darkspawn, or cut down fighting insurgents. Wait, what? Yeah, you got a point there. Regulation swords, right? Take these, just mind you take care of them, that's good steel. We're actually going to go on patrol. We could fight bandits or dark spawn. What do you mean you didn't join the army to mine the storeroom? I'm shocked. <coughs> so, sure. you think you're ready to go on your first patrol mission, do you? 
That's what I like to hear. You there! Yes, sir. Stand up straight. You're a soldier in the King's army, and the King's own men don't slouch. And you? Yes, sir. Stop fidgeting. You can fidget on your own time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Kiss ours. You there, Blondie. Uh, yes, sir. What's the one thing a soldier can't do without? What do I tell him? A weapon, sir. Oh, you really are as dumb as you look. You runts aren't good enough for patrol yet. You two are assigned to scrub the kennel floors. Maybe it'll knock some sense into you. Dismissed! I thought I told you to scrub the kennel floor. Get to it! So close to being... We were so close. So close to being real soldiers instead of uniformed errand boys. Blessed Andraste. If I have to hear my mother one more time... You shouldn't have gone into trade like your brother. Did you need something? Back to work. <sighs> What's the password? <sighs> Blighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. Don't keep the colonel waiting, go! I thought I told you to scrub the kennel floor. Get to it! I thought I told you to... Scrub the kennel floor. Get to it! Time for more practice. Yes. Extruder in the fort!
I'm almost disappointed we didn't get to try our plan. Oh well. We should do something and quickly.
Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already Queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close, all the same. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Anora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Anora would secure the succession. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems, and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne, and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen. 
unless they both agree to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. What do you need? Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Great. And there I was, enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. I haven't been here in a while. What do you need? Ask away. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has Theron blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever will give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Marry her. As in marriage, as in be her husband. You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? 
Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. I suppose. I don't know how much of a leader I am, but at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now, oh, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne. And in exchange, I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Then I wish you luck, Warden. Yes. Indeed. Yes. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me, either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking, and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana. And I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. <laughs> 